Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Maximum Questions and for Video Magical. And today I want to have a look at generators in Final Cut Pro. And I kind of wonder what generators were really, but it seems that they're kind of, well, a few different things really. You could use them as placeholders, so if you've got a spot within your movie that you need to put something in there just to guard that piece of time in the movie as it were, you could put a placeholder in there. There are other such things there as backgrounds for instance. So for example we might decide that we want to have some blobs in the movie. So that could be a background. Let's just play that and see what it looks like. So what we've got with this one with the blobs moving around is a movie version of the lava lamp. And you can do the uh, various bits in there, such as change these colours. So you could change the yellow to, well, you could have a range of blues in there, for instance, or something altogether different. So that's a possibility where you could use it as a background and put some titles over the top of it. And then you've got other stuff. For instance, let's see what else we've got. We've got uh, concentric shapes. So let's put that in there. The concentric shapes doesn't seem to do anything. It just sort of sits there, as it were. I'd imagine that there could be some sort of possibility where you could, in motion, do some animation of this effect. We can do some changes with this, where we change... Oh, gosh, that makes your eyes go funny, doesn't it? So you can make some changes to those concentric shapes using this uh, thing here. What you could do, actually, you could animate this and make it something that will move over time. Um, something that people that are making professional videos often do is that they'll get one of these things here and they'll stick it at their, the front of their uh, video. Okay, so we've got it at the front of the uh, video there. And you'll have a basic countdown to the start of your movie. My son's a cameraman. He's told me that uh, he's used one of these when he's making a movie one time. So let's see what else we've got. You could have uh, maybe just some sort of... Uh, Backgrounds like this one with wood shapes in there, or you've got a metallic background, and we've got this one here called organic. This one does a bit of uh, video as it uh, moves. Let's move it in there and let's play that. So we've got a nice sort of background there that we could use. We could put some text over there, animate the text, be a good sort of intro to uh, some video you are making. And as I said, you can put placeholders in there. This is a placeholder that you might put in there. And again, we've got spirals here. So let's uh, put the spirals in there. We've got an underwater scene. Let's put that in there. Something that could look quite good at the beginning of a video for some titles over the top or the end and the running credits. And then, of course, you have the sort of basic colours there. You can just uh, stick a colour in there. And uh, when you're using this here, you can change the uh, different colours there. So maybe want an orange in there instead. And this one here is one that I've used, the start of the Mac 20 q podcasts. Oh, another thing that you can do as well is shapes. So let's take this shape here and put it there. Who decided if you wanted to have a fill in there or not? You can choose the fill colour. And outline and stuff like that. So we have an arrow there. Maybe we're using some video there. We want to have an arrow in our video pointing to something. Then we could take that and I presume we can change the size of the arrow. There you go. And I've even managed to turn it upside down there. If I want to turn the arrow around, then I have to select this, move the arrow and have it pointing in different directions. So there you go. That's a few different things that you can do with shapes. We could have a uh, five-sided star in there. So here we are in Motion 5 and I did manage to get some animations done of this stripes thing here. As you see, I made it uh, stretch out and uh, do a bit of changing here and there. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to make this animation work over in Final Cut Pro, though. But in Final Cut Pro, I did manage to get some other things done to get some animation happening. So let's go back to uh, Final Cut Pro. So here in Final Cut Pro, I've got this animation here. Let's just play that and see what happens. So I've got one bit of video on top of another there, two generators. And I've also managed to get this spiral. I'm going to do some stuff to make your eyes go funny. So have a bit of fun playing around with these generators and see what you can come up with. Bye bye now. So thanks for clicking on the like in YouTube there. So why don't you subscribe to Wizard Gold Max 20 Questions and every time I've got a new video out you're going to be the first to know about it.